how to start an AI agency in 2024, which in my opinion is by far the best vehicle to tap in and also the best one to get you to 10K a month and beyond. Now, on today's video, I will break it down into three main key steps. Step number one, the model. Step number two, the client acquisition system to get you there. And then step number three, the whole fulfillment side of things. But before we dive into it, for those who don't know me, my name is Dennis Romes. I run Nedzo AI, a voice AI platform, and also Alphatrend.io. And I help agency owners, tech founders, and industry leaders grow by leveraging AI. And for more details, check the description below. Now, without further ado, let's dive into it. So step one, learn and implement the model. And you might ask yourself, but which model? And reality is with AI, the ocean is so big. There are so many different avenues that you can pursue, which makes it difficult even to get started in the first place. So I decided to divide or highlight three main phases. So I call it level one, becoming an AI growth creator. What is it? Anyone who is starting out, who is starting to learn about AI, starting to learn about AI tools and understands how to monetize those tools, how to implement solutions that create growth for other businesses or for other people or other organizations, it's definitely a good beginner-friendly model to tap into and can easily get you to 10K a month or beyond. Level two, the AI automation agency. At this level, you are already an expert. You know which software to pick for which solution. You can build not only personalized solutions, but also productize service delivery and start scaling. And this is a model that can easily get you to six figures a month. Now, this is not to say that it will get you there in four weeks, but remember an empire isn't built in a day. So keep building one step at a time and you'll get there. And level three, AI software. This is by far the most advanced solutions. If you are just starting out, I highly suggest you can stay away from it. But if you have the skills, if you have the knowledge, if you're an industry expert and you know how to code or you have someone that has access to that, that's definitely one of the most leveraged ways to scale the business, of course. Then you need to create an offer, right? And I like to leverage the 3P framework. What does it stand for? Person, promise, process. So who is the person that you are going to help? the ICP, Ideal Customer Profile. What is the promise you are going to make them? So what is the defined specific outcome you are trying to generate them? And step number three, what is the process you are going to follow to get them there? Very simple. And last but not least, pricing structure. This will dictate who you will be serving as well. You can go with so many different models. You can go with high ticket upfront, then recurring small fee. You might go with performance spaces, meaning a small setup fee, but then a performance based model afterward, or you can combine all of these and even more. I will tap more into this at the end of the video. So make sure to stay until the end. Step number two, the client acquisition model. Unless you've been living under a rock, you probably already noticed, we are living the creator era. If you are not out there, if people don't know you, if you're not leveraging content to become or to expose or to promote your business, what are you doing? So the creator funnel is all about one, learning how to get or generate attention almost for free. Then gain leverage by building authority and you do that with content, so attract people to you instead of you getting called to them. And step number three, lead with value. Because if you lead with value, chances are that people are a lot more willing to give back to you. And if you want the whole breakdown around the creative funnel, I will have other videos that you can look into those. But essentially, it's all about one, attracting people with content, two, nurturing, nurturing them with the right assets and three converting them with the offer that is bespoke to their needs and by the way don't forget to subscribe to the channel and step number three it's all about fulfillment how can you fulfill how can you leverage ai how can you leverage software how can you leverage automation to do all the heavy lifting for you helping you productize service delivery and therefore putting you in a position of leverage so phase one it's the build 
and release phase. Whether you are pursuing the growth creator model or the AI automation agency, I strongly suggest that you focus on building and releasing personalized infrastructures. Because if you're not doing that, you'll be competing against SaaS products, right? because those are not personalized, or most of them aren't. This will allow you to charge high ticket upfront because it's a personalized solution. And not only that, position yourself as a one out of one because no one can compete against a personalized solution, right? There's no software, there's no product that will be able to compete against you. So phase number two, manage or consult on an ongoing basis. This is what will enable the retainer, the predictability in the business. So remember phase one, you sell the high ticket, get cash flow into the business. Phase two, you solve the second problem, which is how to manage the whole infrastructure or how to acquire the right talent and consult them to make sure that it is performing at its peak. This will be able to generate the monthly recurring revenue, the predictability. And at this stage, I highly suggest you implement in your client's business, a hard asset consulting system, which is, for example, a piece of software, something that keeps data coming in, something that allows you to track results and that makes it sticky. Pro tip, white label software and charge small ongoing fees for it. This is one of the biggest or best hacks for you to keep those clients forever. And phase number three, partner with businesses and get performance fees. Well, this is definitely the most advanced move you can take. And I would highly suggest if you're just starting out, try not to go for these things because you don't have the knowledge or the experience to be able to position yourself or even try to negotiate a deal like this. But if you are, you already have all the knowledge, you have the skill set, you have the experience, you have case studies, you have results, well then by all means, go in. You already built the department or you already built the whole infrastructure you already help them or consult them on how to manage it or perhaps even manage it yourself. Now, take it up a notch, become fractional CTO, chief technology officer or CMO. Get a percentage of the revenue that you specifically bring in. And that way, you don't need to be always chasing new and new and new and new clients and you can focus on scaling the existing clients. Later on, that expertise will be far more valuable than you can ever imagine. And that's essentially it. So to summarize it, one, pick the right model. Two, implement the right client acquisition system. In my opinion, the creator funnel is definitely the best one to go. And step number three, fulfillment. Make sure to start by building a very specific solution for a painful problem, then move into managing or consulting them on an ongoing basis, build that monthly recurring revenue, and don't forget to leave their hard asset consulting, something like a piece of software that you can white label and automate. And then if you're ready for it, move into the percentage or the partner model where you can start getting those dividends or performance fees based on the results that you generate. And that's it for this video. I hope you got some value from it and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.